Okay, happy Tuesday. I'm setting a timer right now on this live video because I don't want to take more than 30 minutes of your time. So this is gonna be only 30 minutes. I'm stopping. Um, if people want questions after, then ask me after. But I pray this live saves um, this time. It didn't save yesterday. That was so frustrating. But I loved um, everybody commenting and joining. It was so much fun. And um, who made dinner last night that I made? Because that was really good. Really good. I have not had that for a little while and I forgot how tasty um, that fajita soup is. So you guys need to be making that. My kids actually ate it. They liked it. The toppings kind of make it. The cheese with the, um, the crunch of the chips. It's good. It's good. So say hello if you can see me and we will get started. This is going to be fast again. Like, I don't even think we're gonna take 30 minutes fast. Like, this is good. Um, so, hello, hello, looking good. Okay, okay. So today, we are going to make, like I said, the bow tie pasta with cherry tomatoes um, and fresh herb basil. You can see me, okay, hey. <laughs> this is super fresh, like for, to the fresh basil, to the fresh, um, you know, tomatoes, to the capers, to the olives, to the yummy olive oil. Like this is just a very fresh meal that you then top off with some Parmesan cheese and it's yummy. And I'm laughing because my mom, is constantly giving her opinion and asking, you know, wanting me what she wants me to say. And before we just did this live, I could not stop laughing. She has so much information that she is constantly wanting all of you guys to know. And I am not as wise as her, so I'm going to try to relay all these messages <laughs> that she is telling me to tell you. She wants you to know very important stuff. Um. Did I just miss a call? Just got both of the books yesterday. Yay! You're gonna love them. You're gonna love them. And they come signed by the food nanny. She personally signs all of them. You're gonna love them. They're so great. Um. Okay, so after I show you how to make this super fast, I'm actually later on, which I'm not gonna be doing on the live, I'm making our coconut tea bread. Now, has anybody made that? Because I am telling you right now, it is so good, so delicious, like the most moist. Our breads are honestly some of the best you will ever try out there because they're quick, they're easy. So I'm gonna be making the coconut bread um, later today too. And you put this amazing glaze on top of it. That makes such a perfect gift for like the holidays. Um, we love to make all of our breads into like mini loaves. You can do the pumpkin bread into mini loaves, the coconut tea bread into mini loaves. Um, and then just like put it in a really cute like plastic bag or cellophane wrap. It makes such a cute present to drop off to somebody and they'll love it. So I won't be showing you how to make it today, but I'm gonna post a picture of it later because it's yummy. Okay, what are you guys saying? Um, you are amazing. Oh, so nice. I love all my friends out here. I want the books for Christmas. Yes, you need the books. You, you honestly need them. I, I'm, I'm telling you, you need them. Um, cookbooks would make Christmas, a great Christmas gift. I agree. I agree. I mean, they're on sale. I'll tell you this again. They're on sale for $30 right now. They're normally 20 per book. So you get both of the books for $30. So it's a really great deal. And I promise you, you will not regret your money. It's gonna be the best money you've ever spent. Which of the two books is better to get to go first? Um, I would probably say the first book is the best to go with 
The first book is what we were actually um, just raised on, like our entire lives, really. And then the new book, it's the same kind of meal plan, but it's just way more recipes. You're getting like over 400 recipes in each of these cookbooks. So it's a ton of recipes. You'll never, like I said, it's never gonna get boring on here. <laughs> it's never gonna get boring. But um, if you want to start, you guys, my shirt is kind of wrinkled. I'm sorry, I've had a morning. This is kind of wrinkled. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh, start off with the first, but I just think that both of them right now on sale is such a good deal. But I would start with the first one if you wanna choose one or the other. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to tell you before I started making this pasta is we like to put in meatless meals into our week, okay? Um, my mom, I know that she's told this before in her massive spiel that she met with a nutritionalist years and years ago and she told the nutritionalist about her plan and how, you know, you shouldn't have red meat back to back, pasta back to back, all these different things and the nutritionalist was so amazed by it, but she told my mom to throw in a fish night. And so that's where the fish, the fish breakfast night came from. And we don't classify fish as meat. Uh, we don't. <laughs> and I know some of you might, but fish is not classified as meat for us. So um, we have a couple of meatless nights. So that's why this pasta is really great because this is meatless. A lot of our pastas can be made meatless. Um, our pizza night is always meatless. Our breakfast night is always meatless. There's just, it's just good to have a couple of meatless nights. And I've had a couple of vegetarians ask you, um, ask me, sorry, uh, if we have a lot of recipes without meat. And you can make a lot of our recipes without meat. So I just wanted to throw that out there and tell you that we personally, with our lifestyle and eating, we don't eat, um, we don't eat uh, meat every night and we have this variety. We have about three nights a week where we are completely meatless. So did I miss questions? Didn't know about the say the cell. Yeah, so they're both on sale right now until after, um, I believe we're gonna change it in January. The first book is more basic, but I reference both of them all the times. So my kids and I go through them both. Yes, thank you, yeah. They're both just great. Like the second cookbook, like I said, the desserts are amazing, the sandwiches, the salads are amazing. Um, but this one is more, I don't know, it's all amazing. I'm all obsessed with all of them and I don't just say that because she's my mom. Uh, major slow cooker roast over the weekend with my family and loved it. Oh good, I love that one. Okay, so let's get going because now we have 23 minutes. We're going, we're going to go fast because I could sit and talk with you guys all day. So let me try to move this over here. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Okay, so we've gotten, um, I've been doing our pasta. So our pasta is now done. So I'm going to go strain this really fast, okay? I'm straining our pasta. Sorry, just a second. Just a second. I don't know if you're looking at a mess again. Okay. So, so pasta, you guys, is super important. Getting a um, getting good pasta is going to make a difference, and my mom really wanted you to know that. And I don't, I don't pronounce these super well. But um, is it, di oh, she's going to kill me, uh, DCEO, DCEO, the brand, um, she likes G-A-R-O-F-A-L-O, Garfalio, I know I pronounce these horrible, that one is at, car um, at Costco, and then she likes Barilla, I, I'm probably totally saying these wrong, but the pasta is going to make a difference in your pasta meals. Um, and then I've showed you before, look at my amazing pot still that I got from Costco. Such a good deal, would make such a great Christmas gift. Okay, so we're going to start with it. This is so fast. Wait, I think I missed a comment. Um, your mom told me years ago that the first book is more for the beginners. Such a good reference book, we love them both. 
Yeah, it, it is. It is. And I mean, it's definitely just like what she cooked forever. But the second one, oh yeah, they're they're both great. Thank you for that. That was a great comment. Um, love you, girl. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Thank you. Okay, so this is super fast. So all you're going to do is you're cooking your pasta. Then you're done with that. Then you're going to slice your tomatoes in half, which I've already done. So now we're going to add our tomatoes. We're going to add our tomatoes, start, start, start turning on your skillet, okay? You can ask anything. Um, now, sometimes the capers scare people, but capers don't really have that crazy of a taste. Um, so don't be afraid of capers. It gives this really amazing, natural, uh, yummy, let me grab this really fast, uh, just a fresh taste. And my mom was saying that she wanted you to know that capers, where did my notepad go now? Capers are over 6,000 years old. Did you know that? They go back 6,000 years. <laughs> She's hilarious with all of her tips. She knows too much. She knows too much about food, way more than I do. Okay, so we've got our tomatoes in here, and now we're gonna add our fresh basil that we've chopped up, okay? So we're gonna add our fresh basil. And I'll show you, let me get this more, oh no. oh no, I've lost you, just one second. Just one second. This is so fast, we're not even gonna go 30 minutes and dinner will be done. So we've added the fresh basil, can you see this? So this is all just in a skillet. Um, more, let me add a couple more cherry tomatoes. super super fast oh my gosh okay so you just cut the cherry tomatoes in half like this if you want to do um, them smaller you can but just super fast gonna add more into our skillet here can you see this this is going to be so fast you're basically just heating everything up you're just basically making this pasta warm because everything doesn't have to necessarily be cooked. Okay, so now we've added, um, now we're going to add the capers. You add one fourth of capers to your skillet. And my kids actually eat this, you guys. They eat the capers and everything. It, Like I said, it really doesn't give that crazy of a taste. Okay, then we've got some garlic that I've minced up already that we're going to add. And then we're going to add some black olives. Um, since you make your dinner early, do you just keep it warm? Well, okay, I just started doing this. And um, yesterday was my first day that I started making dinner in the morning. And I, I loved it. Yeah, I just reheated it. And it was great. It was great. Because I want to show you guys how great this is. So now we're going to add some black olives. It says about 15 uh, pitted black olives sliced. Just add as much as you want, really, to your liking, too. So we've got this really fresh going, okay? So we're going to turn this on high. Oh, and we forgot our olive oil, duh. Um, you probably should have answered this somewhere along the way, but where is the blessed plate? Um, I picked the first one of Costco. It's on our website, www.thefoodnanny.com, and they are... Um, signed personally from my mom, they're the best place to get it. Okay, so now we're gonna add a third a cup of olive oil. Now, these when you are dealing with your fresh ingredients like this, olive oil and all of that really does matter. Good olive oil matters, good pasta matters. It's going to change the taste of all of your food. So this is one that I have been using that my mom loves. She She's got different ones that she loves right now, but for everybody that's Trader Joe fans, this one is at Trader Joe's, and I love it. I love the flavor. I love the taste of it. This is really good, and then I keep it in something really cute like this. This is, um, I picked this up in France when I went to go visit my mom on her mission. Um, gosh, they just have so many amazing things that are so cheap there, so you, it's really easy to have it like that. 
Okay, so we're just gonna kind of heat this up. See, can we see how this is going? This is so fast. I say this a lot and that's why I'm trying to show it. But you guys should be making that coconut tea bread too. Um, I love all your videos. So nice. I didn't even look. I love cooking while my little snap. Um, then it's done. I know, isn't it so, it's easier when we have little littles, huh? Okay, so we're just kind of heating this up. Now, I already cooked the pasta. You would be doing this while you were cooking your pasta, but I didn't want to take too long, and I'm trying to keep it. We've got 15 minutes, and this is going to be fast. So it says you're heating it through, and then we're just going to, so we're heating it through. See how it's getting hot? You want your garlic to start getting soft. Ask anything else, you guys. Ask anything you want. So we're just heating this through, and then um, I'm gonna show you now. I didn't show you yesterday how it was done and when I put everything together. It was so delicious, I'm not kidding. Did anybody make the dinner last night? It was delicious. You guys need to put these on your list. Okay, so we've heated it through. It's looking good. Now we're going to add our pasta. Now, you know if your pasta, oh my, we've got it spilling. If your pasta starts sitting there for a while, you know you can add like a little bit of olive oil. I let that sit for a minute too long. So you're just gonna mix in your pasta. It's one pound of uncooked pasta. We're kind of making a mess, but I love these pots and pans, you guys, from Costco. They're amazing. They're amazing. I love them so much. Okay, let's see what, what did somebody just say? Mix this around. Um, how soon will the measuring soon? Okay, they just got done. Um, let me show you for people that don't know what we're talking about. We're trying to figure out the shipping on them um, because we don't know how much they're gonna charge on shipping, but it's all black. The new ones are all black that say the food nanny on it. And they're, they're amazing. It's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon. It's all we use. We're obsessed. So we will let, I will let you know. Can you post a picture of the olive oil? Yes. Go back to my, um, go back to our page and look at my Trader Joe's post because I posted everything that I got from, uh, Trader Joe's, and it, there's a picture of it, but I can post a picture of it later too. Okay, so you're just mixing it through. We are literally done, we are done, and now we're going to top it with the Parmesan cheese. This is so good. Oh, you want salt and pepper. So we've got our French salt that we're using. This is so fresh and good. Oh my gosh, so good. Get, make sure to have ground black pepper delicious and then we're going to put some of our fresh grated parmesan cheese on top it's so good okay so now let me put it in a bowl oh no sorry um so do you put everything in the fridge and reheat on the stove with more olive oil with this pasta if i was doing this um no well yeah, you could just, you wouldn't have to, I don't think you would have to add more olive oil. I, I'm just going to probably keep it in this pan and put the lid on it and put it in the fridge. If my mom's watching, what would you be doing? And then I think I would just reheat. I would just reheat it in this pan. I don't think you would have to add more olive oil. It would just be heating it back up. But I think I might be eating this for lunch too now. <laughs> I'm making all this yummy food that then I want it for lunch. Anyways, we are done. This is yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let me bring you back over here and I'm gonna show you how good this is. What? I, I don't like scrouch. Yeah, I'm just gonna reheat it. I've only started doing this because I'm showing you guys how to uh, make this for dinner. So I don't normally do this ahead of time. So that's why I'll be just reheating it for my family. You should have us cook along with you one time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I post my menu plan. 
on, there's something on my screen. I post my menu plan. And so you guys will know in advance what I'm making for that day, but I retell you and I would love for you to cook along with me. I would love that. Um, you could save some pasta water and then add more pasta water. Okay, so my mom's saying that you could just save some of the pasta water and add the pasta water to reheat it. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I bought this all over the weekend. Do you grind it before you're using it? I told you yes and no. There's just different ways. Um, I have it in a salt. We have it in this mortal that I will go like this. Um, and I have it in a salt grinder that I do like this to make it more fine. I do this too. But my mom just adds it whole all the time. So she doesn't even do that. Any bottle dressings you like, please? Um, okay, wait, and I just skipped one, sorry. I made the Parmesan baked chicken and the twice baked potatoes last night. Tonight will be the spaghetti. We love these recipes. Yum, yum, yum. Those are all amazing recipes. Those are all amazing. Any bottle dressings? Um, we, we, oh my gosh, I haven't bought a bottle dressing in a long time. The one that we showed the other day that you could do on the fish tacos was that, um, oh my gosh, do I even still have it? It's that kind of Greek one. Um, the Greek yogurt, it's like half the calories and it's that cilantro. I'm trying to think of the brand. I can't think of it, but that one's actually good. Um, yes, Bolt House. Well, it's Bolt House, I think. Yes. There's good dressings out there, but there's so many easy ones in our book that don't like, yeah, yeah, the cilantro avocado. Yes, that's the one. But a lot of the rest, a lot of the salad dressings in our house, it's just fast. Like it's olive oil, a little bit of mayonnaise sometimes. Um, it's super easy to make your homemade dressings, and I love the homemade buttermilk ranch in that. Our homemade buttermilk ranch recipe in our cookbook—that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Uh, oh my gosh, you know under our wherever I can't find all these right now but I don't know yeah yeah we okay we mostly use olive oil and lemon yeah I mean I don't feel like I'm really buying bottled dressings so yes yes it's more like a fresh just we have it in the house sorry what's your go-to recipe my mom's is the olive oil and lemon that one it is bolt house yes thanks everybody I couldn't think of the name okay Okay, we're like almost done. I We keep talking, but this is done. This is done. Um, let me find, just look at my cute bowl. I'll put it in this bowl. Where's my cute bowl? I got so many fun treasures when I went to visit my mom on her mission. Look at these amazing handmade bowls with my name on it. It's so cute. Okay, let me show you this, you guys. So we're gonna take this over here. We're gonna take this over here. Oh man, this is good. This is probably not the best bowl to put it in, but this is more of a soup bowl. <laughs> but we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it and we're gonna go with it. This is so yummy. If you wanna add more top Parmesan cheese or more salt and pepper, do it. See how fast this was? See how fast this was? Just ordered the second book, yay! You're gonna love it. Mmm. So good. I know. Mom. This is what she wants me to do. The food nanny is always with you. She's always with you. You think she's not? She is. Okay, here. Here's my possible. Here, here, mom. Uh huh. It tastes the same. It tastes the same. I wanted to show them my cute bowls. It tastes the same. This is yummy. This is fresh and yummy. It's done. It's done. I'm just going to reheat it for my family tonight. And I'm going to be making the coconut tea bread, like I said. It's yummy. It looks so good. Oh, no, it's seriously good. <laughs> this is seriously good. 
We made the bow tie pasta with cherry tomatoes and uh, fresh basil. That took us how long, you guys? Come on. That was like a 10, 15 minute meal. We've just been talking because we all just like to get on here and talk. We're done. Anyways, um, ask me more questions later if you have anything. I'm totally wanting to answer whatever. I think I'm going to do these lives three times a week. Um, so this is my second one. So I would love to know if you want the next live to be on a bread, a dessert, or um, what was the other thing? I just don't think I'm gonna show you pizza again because I've showed pizza for like the last two months and I know we keep getting new followers, but I don't think I'm gonna re-show you pizza yet. Um, anyways, I can't stop eating it. Okay. Well, make sure to DM me and tell me what you want to see. Breads or dessert for my next live later this week. What am I going to serve with this for dinner? Um, I will probably uh, whip up a bread, a garlic bread. I'll probably make a bread. My kids love the Italian bread with garlic, so I might, I might do that. I might do that. But... This is so good. I'm not kidding. This is healthy. Oh my gosh, I just spit. This is so good. You guys need to be making this tonight. Uh, please, anything to use long-term food storage. Um, okay, that would be my mom. She's going to have to talk about that one. I don't know. Oh, wow. You guys are really saying desserts. Okay, yes, and another green vegetable. See, she's always there giving her a pen. <laughs> We always have another green vegetable, two vegetables with our meals. So yes, another green vegetable too. But I will probably be serving some garlic bread as well. I can't stop. Make it, make it. I love you guys. You're so nice to me. Um, Maybe it will be a dessert next then, next time. Desserts and lots of cooked veggies. Um, okay. Okay, you guys are coming in with lots of questions. Okay, or ideas. Great. DM me. Let me know. It's looking like a lot of people are wanting a dessert. So um, maybe we'll do that next. But we're going to start uh, telling you more of our Thanksgiving recipes that you guys need to be making. Anyways, love you guys. We did it. We did it. We only had three minutes. We're in 30 minutes. My mom's going to be so proud of us. Um, so make sure to, you know, Post the pictures if you ever make anything. Thanks so much for following. You're the cutest. I love you, Ashley. Thank you. I love all of you. You guys are so good to me. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. I'm going to show the tea bread later when I make it. Okay, bye.